I can tell you exactly what it's like. YouTube is live. Oxford. No. Hmm? Facebook is starting. Hello. YouTube. Hiya. Oh, hey. Looks like we're okay, on. Facebook okay. Is on live. So. Good evening, friends, and good morning down under. <laughs> All right. As I'm checking to make sure we're actually live on Hello. Facebook. Hey, Jack. So. Is that your pre-dinner dinner? Yep. What is it? <gasps> what is it? Tell everybody what it's it is. It's a three-minute pe microwave pizza. Because you know we like processed foods around here. What? How how much was it? <laughs> One dollar. Whoa. All right. So. Facebook is loading. All right, slow. so as I'm going to show there you, you go. how to not make processed foods, as my son is eating processed foods, <laughs> get it together, Tara. <laughs> yeah, I know. With Beach in LA, I used to make homemade muffins and an apple after school snack, and I just, you know, and then I stopped. <laughs> so, yeah. Which part? Kill. Kill. Okay. Get back. Today we have, can you hop up Today to is the first day. <laughs> okay, so be careful of that right there. Don't touch that, okay? Actually, just stay on this side, why don't you? Um, today is October 1st. Oh, no. And I feel like we had no September because it was so bleeping hot here in September. Whoa. It really irritated me. Why is this on here? Um, so it didn't even feel like we had September. What? And it's already October. So we need to make the most of it. My life October. is just going past my eyeballs faster than I can see it. <laughs> you and Buster do. You and Buster both. <laughs> yeah. Okay, don't put the cup on here. I don't have enough space. <laughs> right, Jack. So, um, we, Mom, wrote out an entire meal plan for October. Go to livingonadime.com. What's the best site in the whole world? Not that one. Livingonadime.com. Hey, you gotta work with me, boys. You gotta work with me. Um, Processedfood.com. We had Cody train. We did, we had our nephew train. Okay, um, so what we did was mom did a month's worth of October meals. We did not get the book done. So it's done. We just have to okay. verify that it's done. <laughs> the book is not done and sent to the printer yet. Um, Michael did not have time to put the whole month's worth of menus. We are having disciplinary issues. Mike did not have a chance to put the whole month of menus on, so we're doing one week at a time for the month of October. Um, go to livingonadime.com. You will find the cheap family meals on there, and we will get it done. So the first one that we're doing is in Dining on a Dime Cookbook, on page doop -de -doop -de -doo, right here one nope that's the wrong page well that's sort of the page doop -de -doop -de -doo, let me find the next page okay right here page 189 slow cooked roast on page 189 is the first recipe on there now because this is slow cooked roast and we only have an hour I've already been cooking my roast, okay? What? I know. Foul. That's a foul. I know. Um, so, I have already been cooking my luscious roast. Ow. I did not plan very well. <coughs> okay. Woo. So, let's get some of this out of the way. Huh? I, did, I didn't know if you needed Dave to... Oh, no. Okay. Now... I'm, I'm down anyways. How I made this roast... 
this gloriously, excuse me, looking roast is, um, see how it just falls apart? This literally takes three minutes to make. Now, I have to tell you, go ahead and come back up because mom's going to give a lecture here real quick for oh, a moment. No. <laughs> I have to tell you, this roast that took three minutes to make is so easy and so yummy, and we can get at least four meals out of this because I got a bigger roast. We can get at least four meals out of this. So you saw how much was in here. I don't remember the size pounds it was. I don't know, but it was about this big, okay? So there's been some comments on our Facebook, How to Save on Groceries Facebook page. And Michael put the link there. Please come join us. There's tons of tips on there. But that is a no baloney zone. Tara and Heidi are not putting up with excuses, people. Bologna. Now. This is the How to Save on Groceries group. How to Save on Groceries group. One. Every single time we say we get three to four meals, Heidi and I, three to four meals out of a roast, we have person after person. Well, you're starving your family. Well, you must not let them eat anything at all. Well, I'm active. So I need at least eight ounces for each meal of protein. Guys, that is a bunch of baloney. I know full good and well from your Facebook picture that you guys are not bodybuilders. Oh, roasted. <laughs> Thank you, BJ. That was perfect. See, you that said goes that with perfect. the roast right there. <laughs> so... And I also know full good and well that like me, you could stand to lose a little bit of weight. So who are the people that are eating the three to four ounces that is a true serving of meat for dinner? They are people who aren't overweight. Seriously. I don't mean to be mean, but guys, you got to know the truth here. So what do you do with a roast to make a full dinner. Mom made out a menu plan. Can you go right here so I can read the menu plan? So let me read the menu plan for you. Wait, you're talking me? Yeah, I need that. As soon as you're done. Stop yakking with Jonathan. Get to work. <laughs> I'm trying to get caught up on Just the Just kidding. Comments. Okay, I need the page because I forgot to print out the menu. That's uh, my fault. What? The page. Living out of time. Okay, so what do we have on here? We have a roast. We have... Uh, roasted potatoes, which I'm going to show you how to make. We have roasted carrots, we have gravy, and we have dinner rolls. Now, thank you very much. Now, what do you do? First of all, if you have a husband who's a lumberjack, that's fine. <laughs> but the majority of husbands don't need to be eating eight ounces of food. Most are sedentary. They just don't eat it. The same is true with kids. Now, if you have teenage boys who are football players, uh, yes, they will need a little uh, bit more. But we are talking about the average person here, okay? So, what are we going to get out of this roast? We are going to get tonight's dinner of roast with potatoes, carrots, all that good stuff. Then tomorrow we're going to have French dip. Then we're going to have barbecue beef. And then with the little, little bit that is left over, we're going to have um, stew, mom's stew. Okay, so that's how I get four meals out of one roast. Now, the second thing is people keep complaining that they don't have enough time to sh save money on groceries and to shop the ads. Mike and I on Friday night went to Safeway. They had roasts for $2.97 a pound. We went to Safeway and I bought 10 roasts. I bought four boxes of Frosted Flakes. You get four boxes of Frosted Flakes for $8, and you got a free thing of coffee and a free thing of eggs, which equaled $7, okay? So I paid $8 for the Frosted Flakes, and I got $7 in free product that we would already use. That literally took us 10 minutes in and out of the store. How do I know? Because I timed it because we thought we were going to be going to the corn maze that evening, and I was really watching the time, 10 minutes. And I saved probably $150 
for 10 minutes worth of work just running into the store as we were on our way home from somewhere else. Where were we coming from? Oh yeah, dinner with BJ. Okay, so don't tell me you don't have time. That's an excuse. You have time to do this. You just don't want to do it. So get it together, people. Stop in and get that one store ad. I'm not telling you to go to store after store every shopping trip. You don't have to go to 18 stores. Stop in to the store that has things on sale for this week. Next week, do the other store. It doesn't matter, but you can do this. And I will say, mm. Heidi and I are going to be doing a show on this hopefully next week when we get back from helping my brother pack or move. Because um, we are noticing that grocery prices really haven't increased uh, at all. Hardly. They have, but not a lot. And so we're going to be doing a show on that, on how grocery prices haven't increased. So, so a number of people were unclear as to what you were talking about because they just joined us in the last couple minutes. You're talking about well, the get city. here on time. You're talking about the We city. start at 4.30 Mountain, 6.30 Eastern, on time. She was a librarian before. <laughs> no, I'm Not kidding. Really. Okay. Not really. I'm just, I'm only kidding. We are making $5 dinner with homemade roast and potatoes and carrots and all that yummy stuff. And so some people are wondering okay. why is it done already? <laughs> It's like done already because it's a slow cooked roast, so I had it cooking all day. So, what did I put on my roast? I put my roast in here, I sliced up an onion, I set it on top, then I sprinkled it with seasoned salt. Now, if you wanted, you could put onion soup mix or cream soup, cream of mushroom, cream of whatever soup. Okay. Okay, Jack. Give mom a kiss and then go out. <laughs> okay, so if you want to make your own homemade cream of uh, mushroom soup, it's right here on page 115. Homemade um, onion soup mix is on page 115. Now, why do I like these? Because I'm gluten-free and these two products in the store contain wheat products. So I can't eat them. So I love making these homemade. So super simple these are five ingredients and six ingredients so not hard to do at all put my roast in here put one or the other of those on here cover it with foil i cook it in the oven all day long on really low okay and it's super delicious and it's super it's like delicious probably our, now, one of our favorite probably top five i'm sticking even though this is finished i'm sticking this back in the oven just to keep it warm okay and in just a little bit, I'm going to make the gravy for you. But first, let me show you what I do with my potatoes. Now, I've already scrubbed and cleaned my potatoes. So what I do is I take some bacon grease. Can you show this, Dave? Wait, show them what? Um, show them the potatoes here. So I take potatoes. Now, I will normally put these in the roast, but because I wanted to show you this today, I'm doing them in a separate pan. But um, when I don't put potatoes in the roast and I'm just baking them, I put them in a pan. I rub them with bacon grease that I keep in a little jar in the refrigerator. Super yummy. Just get it all mixed around here just like this. Okay. And just put the extra grease all over. Okay. Now. Oh, yum. So then what I do is I take and sprinkle them. Now, the bigger salt is better, but I walked in the door um, like 15 minutes before the show went on and I wasn't set up because I had to get Jack from school. So normally I would use the thicker salt, but I don't have, um, I didn't have time to find it. So I'm just using regular salt. So then poke it with a fork to let some of the steam out. And then we're going to bake these. Okay. Yes. We had a number of roast questions. People, some people were wondering what, what kind of roast or what kind of roast and what was the how big was the roast? Okay. Then I, I just put foil on top. 
and I throw it in the oven. Now with this, I'm gonna put my carrots in also. So while I'm peeling my carrots, I'll answer those questions. Okay, today you can come back to me. And Jerry says portion control saves us lots of money. Wow, you're singing Jill's song. It really does. And I don't know. The excuses people make is actually just getting ridiculously out of hand. Everybody has an excuse for why they can't do this and why they can't do that. Instead of just saying, I don't want to do that. And that's fine. But stop making the excuses. Um... So the cut of roast, I have no idea. I just get whatever's cheap on sale. I got a Lond couple of London broils and then chuck roast probably. Um, I don't know, I just get whatever's the cheapest on sale. And when you do it that way and cook it slowly, you don't have to worry about if it's going to be tender or not because all of them are tender. Um, what I do is I throw it in the oven in the morning on low about 275 and then I just let it with a cup of water and I just let it cook all day long with the water and whichever cream seasoning or the onion seasoning whichever I want to do. And then by dinner time it is ready so I mean seriously it is like three minutes to fix a roast so it's not hard at all as a matter of fact I was trying to fi figure out some things to kind of make more time for the show because it just goes so fast that you don't really have to spend a lot of time in the kitchen cooking so Ooh, Lisa says Hello, family from California. First time live. Hello, Lisa. Yay, we're glad Thank you're you here. for joining us. All right, any other questions while I finish up my carrots? Uh, I, I didn't catch, you said, oh, as far as the cut, some other people asked about the size, how many pounds. Oh, how many know? pounds? I don't remember, but it was like this big. So, I don't know, it was, it was like $8 and it was $3 a pound. So, what would that be? Two and a half pounds or so, somewhere around there? Okay. Um... So, yeah, and I just purchased everything they had out because when I find um, roasts on sale, I just stock up. Okay, so I'm throwing my carrots in. If you find anything on sale, you stock up. To get these cooked too. Now, these may or may not be done. Usually baked potatoes take about an hour in the oven. So these may or may not be done by the time the show is over. But I'm gonna throw them in and we'll see what we got here. Okay, so that's my... Why didn't you tell me about that? Put, put them back. That's my potatoes and my... What do you call it? Carrots and my roast. Next, I did not feel like making dinner rolls tonight. But we had some leftover buns from our picnic in the mountains yesterday. And what I would normally do is cut these up in quarters and put butter with a little bit of garlic powder on them and make little mini French breads. Okay, that's what I would normally do. But because we needed a little more time on the show, I am making the muffins on page 56. These are my basic muffins. Super simple, once again, page 56. And I'm gonna add chocolate chips to these ones. Now, I have my flour in here, my sugar, putting in my baking powder. There we go, there we go. Then, my salt, because the world needs more salt, people. Okay, there we go. And I am using, I was talking to Heidi today about this because we were testing two recipes for the book before we sent it to the printer. And Heidi said, I just never keep dry milk on hand because I get milk for 99 cents a gallon and it's so cheap. And I'm like, well, 
I don't know. I use dry milk all the time, so. So Lynn was wondering, what if I don't have bacon grease for the potatoes? What do you do? Then just rub it with butter. Okay. Yep, just rub it with some butter. And it would work great. But save that bacon grease, guys. Bacon grease is great for um, rubbing on potatoes like I just did. For, um, uh, what do you call it? Now, I don't have any oil, so I'm going to use some butter here. Um, greasing pans, like if you're baking bread, grease your pans with bacon grease, and it gives them a really good flavor. That's mom's little tip there. And that's how she used to um, make really yummy homemade bread. Okay, so we're going to stir this up. Get it all on, mixed up. What? It's raining on the Oregon coast right now. Someone Ooh. else said it was 90s where they are. Uh, I forgot where I said it. That, maybe it was in Florida. I'm sorry, 90s are just wrong. Okay, so here's another tip. I got these mini semi-sweet chocolate chips to put in my muffins. Now, I didn't even use a quarter of a cup there, but they will still get a chocolate chip in every bite of muffin. The thing is, is the mini chocolate chips were the same price as the regular size, but you don't need to use as much because they're smaller. See how they just get in all over the place there? Isn't that wonderful? So, that's a little tip to save you money on buying chocolate chips. Okay, yeah, spray in my pan because I'm out of, whew, I'm out of liners. <laughs> okay, yes. You've been mellowing through the show. I've been mellowing? Yep. Why? <laughs> you started with a lot of fire and now you're kind of mellowing out. Well, the new kinder, gentler Tara is here. <laughs> right? Oh, everybody's regretting it. <laughs> oh, they cute. are? Well, hey. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Let me tell you, I can get going. Is it raining? <laughs> okay, so get all of these in. Is it raining? Oh. It's not raining, it's oh. raining, but there's moisture at least. Okay, now a couple of these I got a little too full, so I'm going to take some out. We've got more roast questions. We passed you on the road, Ellie. Did you see us? Um, okay. From the there. That one's a little too much. Okay. So now I'm throwing these in the oven at 425. So I'm going to turn up it's my oven here to 425. Okay. So now I'm going to pull out my roast again. <laughs> Man, I'm going to have to get me some more hot pads. My hot pads have seen better days. Okay, so now, ooh. Woo, yum. Smells delish. All right. Now, to make homemade gravy, it is super, super simple. You want to do that before you answer questions or after? Here's some roast questions. Okay, give me your roast questions. Uh, Wanda said, so London broil works like a roast? I have no idea, actually. I've never bought London broil until today, or I mean until Friday. So, I don't know. Right. This isn't it. Uh, let's see. Uh, Jamie, and, uh, Jamie and Danielle, looks great. Have you made it in a crock pot? And yes. And Carmen also says I use my crock pot. You usually do, right? I do my crock pot in the summer, and then I do the oven in the winter is how I do it. And it's been like 35 to 40 degrees at night here and in the day yeah. it's 50s. It's so, finally getting cold, which is wonderful and I'm super happy, so, so, so happy. Sorry, Jean is asking, what did you season it with? Oh. So I seasoned it with the onion soup mix that's in the book. I gave that page, but I don't remember what it was. <clears throat> I'm sharing the recipe and also share the book link. Okay, so now, and as usual, if you can't find the recipe in the comments here where I'm sharing it, 
You can go to livingonadime.com and click show notes, and all, all the links show. that I share in the show are there. So you're starting And others huh? that we've shared yeah, in other shows. Not in the show. Okay, there you go. Okay. All right, now. Oh man, that smells really good. It is really good. Okay. I'll give feedback. Mike's gonna do a taste yeah, test. I'll do a taste test. What isn't this really good? Mm. Oh man, your mm. wife is a good cook. Yep, yeah, you know. Just it. remember that. Be better than that. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. That is Yum. some yummy goodness. That is really delish. Okay, <laughs> so I'm gonna set that there. Now, I have my roast in here. And to make, or I mean my juice. So this is juice from the water and the roast that was in there, okay? So I'm gonna take my cornstarch. And I use cornstarch, but you can use flour if you want. Oops, okay, got a little much, but that's okay. Um, and I'm gonna take my whisk and you whisk it up. Now the trick to getting gravy that's not lumpy is to either mix your cornstarch or flour in water first or in this case the um the juice was not really hot i mean it wasn't super hot it was just a little bit hot so it was just warm so then i just put it in there Whisk it up really good. The second trick is to use a whisk and that gets it lump free. Nobody likes lumpy gravy. Okay. So Angie asks, what is the name of the cookbook you are using? I'm new to watching you guys. We're really glad you're here, Dining on a Dime Cookbook, my cookbook right here. The best cookbook in the world. Don't you agree, everyone? Let her know if it's the best cookbook in the whole wide world. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it is, truly. It's <laughs> Dining on a Dime Cookbook, Eat Better, Spend Less. The whole point is to help you eat better and spend less doing it. So that is why we do it. Then I had this bag salad left over from um, my sparkle squad, my lady squad, whatever you want to call it when we were packing Micah's. So we're going to be eating this as well for dinner. That's going to be my whole dinner. There you go. I'm already eating it. So. That kind of that's it. Okay, so I'm going to bring my gravy to a boil, and then I'll show you how wonderfully luscious it looks. Buster's fan club just heard him in here. Yes. Angela says, wow, I'm hungry, and I haven't, eaten, I haven't eaten yet today. Oh, wow. It's super good. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to make, I tested sweetened condensed milk today for the book because there's two different ways you can make it. And I tested the apple pie filling recipe right here, fixed that recipe so that it's not so juicy. So here's the deal. If you guys want to know the 411, is that what they say on the apple pie filling? Uh, yes. What is 411? Here's the thing. I changed it from five cups of water to a half a cup of water. What? Is it going to be a dried apple pie filling? Well, this is a half a cup of water. Oh, wait, I don't know if they can see it. Cameraman. Can you guys see? This is a half a cup of water. Oh, yeah, I can see it. So why okay. is that? Because the apples are juicy. But here's the thing. I researched this recipe. And either all these people took my recipe, which is very possible since it's been out for 20 years, took my recipe and used it for 20 years and have it on all these blog sites. Or this is just the way that people make the frozen apple pie. Now here's the thing. If you like an apple pie with a lot of juice, go ahead and use the full five cups. If you don't like apple pie with a lot of juice, which is the way I am, um, then just use a half a cup and it will be perfect and see how smushy that's what you oops see how smushy the apples are that's what you want because so smushy it breaks <laughs> nobody wants hard apples in their pie yeah right. wow we're getting a lot of great comments on the cookbook thanks everybody oh thanks guys and stacy said just tune in is the roast in the cookbook the roast is in the cookbook it is on page 
Um, it is on page doo, 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 189. Page 189. It is so, delicious. The other tip is if you don't like juicy um, apple pie, but you like the apple pie juice for like pancakes and that kind of thing, you can make apple pie syrup out of this leftover juice. Put it on your pancakes, waffles, French toast, whatever you want. And it is delicious. We did that on the apple show the other day, right? Yes. So, anyway, just showing you guys how that went. Wow, you're getting lots of comments on the book now that you ask people to say what they think. Oh, thank you guys. Uh, somebody said that no milk in the gravy. No, I do not put milk in brown gravy. I don't put milk in any gravy. No, that's not true. I. I don't put milk in turkey gravy, chicken gravy, or brown gravy. I only put it in white gravy. I don't do milk in brown gravy. Okay. So, I need to get moving on to other stuff. But you can see how this is thickened very nicely. Let's test it. <laughs> Let's see. Once again, who is the best cook in the whole wide world? Oh, yum. Mm, I think we should lock up the boys so they can't have it and I'll eat their <laughs> I think you're right. Okay, Dave, have me joking. a plate. Yeah. Have me a plate real quick. <laughs> and let me show you. A plate? Like yep. a normal Just plate? Just hand me a plate. Whoa, best cookbook in the universe. <gasps> Thank you, Kathy. Thank you, Kathy. Nancy says, Cosmic Dining on a Dime, seriously the cookbook I use the most now. Great recipes. Woohoo! Okay, so here is just a little bit. There you guys go. Doesn't that look delicious? Mm-hmm. So. Did you hear that? That is how you make dinner for five dollars how many of us are going to eat that do you think or less huh how many of us are going to eat that do you think how many of us are going to eat this we only we only have uh probably four of us now it's four now is who is usually eating the other so, two are yeah. off and not around i've been doing most of the recipes for four people now just because bj and la are usually working <laughs> can i do good yeah all right, so I'm going to make some soup now while we answer questions. <laughs> I'm still making it through here. Ooh, Davette, I made the Dining on a Dime Sloppy Joes on page 117 last week. The famous brand in a can is too sweet for me. I never made Sloppy Joes without the canned sauce or envelope seasoning before. Tara Jill's recipe was perfect. I will never use a canned or envelope versions again. Then hey. I followed the suggestion at the bottom of the page for the leftovers and enjoyed that meal as well. Hey, Thank there you. you go. Man, that's nice. Yeah. There were some other comments about what people are making, but I have to get them. <laughs> okay, guys. So, I am having to step up my soap making a notch here. <laughs> Just a little bit. Um... Why? I, well, because I'm selling so much of it that <laughs> you been doing I'm making shows. larger batches. People are crazy. You got the car fixed? Oh, you're the best son in the whole wide world. You're the best firstborn son in the whole wide world. Thank you. <laughs> we got stranded in the mountains yesterday. Not for, that, for kind of a dumb reason. <laughs> Yeah, so we went to go look at a house. Let me go start to make sure that. Okay. We went to go look at a house and we got stranded. And it was in the mountains west of Fort Collins. And it was, yeah. Uh, it was a situation, wasn't it, dear? Yeah. A little bit. Stormy is asking, how is the meat as a sandwich? Oh, it's really good as a sandwich because it's so tender. Um, it's super, super yummy. 
I like to I like so. to put a little on a tortilla with a little salt and some cheese on it and roll it all up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so it's really good on a sandwich. But um, it's good on regular sandwiches too. Yeah. Yeah. Darlene wants so, to know: Are you drinking tea again, Tara? I am. I just did, had no energy, so I was like, I need to get some energy. Okay, so I'm putting my lye into my oils here. Okay, there we go. So this soap is going to be um, peppermint. Did you take the grocery e-course off sale? Yes. Okay. This one is going to be peppermint. So, yes it is. Yes, Aru. Uh, okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. I was, you can see there. Putting in my goat's milk and my kale and clay. Or my what? Lisa, are these your recipes in the book or some of yours that you, some that you tested and tweaked? They're pretty much all, I mean, they're... Well, yeah, I mean, they're recipes, recipes that I got from my mom, my grandma, my great-grandmas. So, it's recipes from seven grandmas and me. My mom and... Let me admit, let's see. No, five grandmas, me, and my mom. I don't want bad news, BJ. Do you have enough money to buy another car? Why do we need enough money to buy another car? <laughs> yeah, My car is currently on fire. <laughs> I would hope you weren't sitting there being that calm if my car was on fire. Is it working? Yay! Thank you, BJ. Gypsy Girl says, "I want to shout out positively for Soap of the Month collection box subscription thing idea." Okay, so I'm gonna try and get that up this week if I can. I was gonna try and do it today. <laughs> The fall soap samplers, if you ordered the fall soap samplers, those are going out this week. This here that I'm working on is going to be for the Christmas samplers. And I am doubling what I'm making because you guys sold me out of the fall so quick. I was like, whoa. Oh, stop it. I was floored. So, um... I'm making a double batch for you guys. <laughs> that was, that was uh, I said it before, I'll say it again. Your recipe for slow cooker garlic, garlic chicken is amazing. Oh, thank you. Oh, and what's cool about this week's menus, if you go to livingondime.com, the first week of October menus, right now, roasts are on sale at Safeway. And then there's a rumor that chicken, whole chickens are going to be on sale for 59 cents a pound at Kroger on Wednesday. Wow. If that's the case, I'm going to go get 10 chickens and stock <clears> up. <throat> so. Hey, Dave. What? Can you go get my white? I forgot to bring my white. It's in the shaker bottle. Yeah, my titanium dioxide. Okay, so I brought this to Trace. Looking good. Looking good. Um. <clears throat> so yeah. So Beach Life, we live in Colorado, uh, near Longmont, north of Denver. <laughs> yeah. We do. Okay, so now this is going to be my red because it's going to be a red and white swirl. Okay? <laughs> now I've never done a batch this big before. Do you need me to carry so it this could be interesting. This yeah. mic backs away from the computer. <laughs> mm. Ooh, nice. Okay. That went much better than I thought it would. Aw, oh, thanks everybody. Everybody's loving our book. They love our book? Yep. Oh, thank you guys. Okay, so in this batch, I'm going to put my titanium dioxide. And then over here, I'm going to put my red. Now. Can't quite see all of it. Okay, is it too hard to see now? 
Yeah, the camera isn't white. I can go straight down and not show your face. Okay, what has happened here? Oh dear. Oh. <gasps> yeah, Music Mad says, oh, tarts, potato salad is to die for. It really is. Thank you. I love my potato salad. It's like the best in the whole wide world. Wouldn't you agree, dear? It's really good. It's the best in the whole wide world. Is that anything world. caustic or anything? Yeah. You just got it on my arm. I need to just oh, not it. that. No, not that. That's just water. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Sorry. Just wasn't sure if I needed to go rinse it. Well, you can go rinse it just so you don't get it on everything. Oh. But it's not going to. I didn't catch it, Mrs. Rushy. I wasn't sure if you said which page is the recipe on. Oh. Your mom is your. My white titanium dioxide right here. Yeah, so we went to go look at a house in the mountains yesterday and oh, it was beautiful. Me, 35 acres. Dave loved it. But then we broke over and Dave had to climb up a mountain in order to get a saw reception. <laughs> so then leaving the place, the road was really bumpy and Mike and Dave had to climb. A mountain that was on private property hoping that they wouldn't get shot. <laughs> I was actually concerned. Because there was no trespassing signs everywhere, but there was no Lots cell service. <laughs> there was no cell service, so they had to climb up this person's driveway, which was up the side of a mountain, literally up the side of a mountain, and hoping they wouldn't get shot. And they got cell service, called the people, because they're Gina, my soap helper's parents, is who's still in their house. And uh, we called the people. Called them to see if they could come rescue us. And then the person whose property it was come driving down. I was like, oh Lord, please let them be nice. And the guy was like, oh, I didn't need help. <laughs> oh, thank you. That he was nice. So they were able to get us, get our battery fixed again. We fried our battery cable. <laughs> potato salad video? Beverly was wondering. How do you do the search if you're on the, on the viewer well, side? Well, on YouTube, on what do you want, where do you want to search at? Well, I just was thinking, uh, I was just going to say if they want to search, how do they do it? I know. So if I you want to search it. on YouTube, there's a little, um, uh, what do you call it? Magnifying glass. If you go to videos, click on videos, and then you do the magnifying glass, then you can find the video that way. Okay, I'm mixing neon pink and scarlet red from homemadesoapmakingsupplies.com. Looks like May 23rd we did it. May 23rd. The secret okay. ingredient for the best potato salad there you go. ever. <laughs> um, So what was I gonna? What was I talking about? Homemade soap making supplies .com. This is scarlet oh. and neon pink, and I think this is gonna get me my red. But I didn't pull out enough oil, so you know what? I'm just gonna put it in here and get it mixed up. So I forgot to ask you before the show went on. Do you still have your sale on? Because I, I um, didn't take the little notice down. I did not. My sale is over. Uh oh. So I need to take the, the notice down. Uh. Ooh, yeah. Okay, so mix, if you guys, homemadesoapmakingsupplies.com, for those of you asking, scarlet pink, or neon red and scarlet, neon pink and scarlet red uh, are the two colors that will make a Christmassy thing. Here we go, let's see. So I'm going to add a little bit more scarlet. Okay. I'm going to get just a little bit more scarlet on here. Yeah, I'm going to go 
down because it's hard to see. Okay, you may. Getting my color mixed in. There, that's a lot better. Loving that. Okay, here we go. Christmassy red. Okay, <clears throat> so just equal parts. These are my micas, homemade soap making supplies.com. If you guys want to get my soap, you can go to homemade soap making supplies.com and I have my soap on there too. So, what kind of supplies do you have there and what do you get at other places like Gigi's, uh, Gigi's Booty Hand Tra Craft Treasures? I was asking about oils and things like that. I know you don't have oils, but where do you I, get them? Yeah. So, um, if you want the beginner soap making kit, I have that on there. And that has everything you need to make um, soap for the first time. It has mold, oils, lye, everything. But if you don't want to do that, you can get your lye from the hardware store. You can get your um, oils from Walmart, Big Lots, Soap Maker's Choice, or, um, or soap, Soaper's Choice, excuse me, Soaper's Choice are all good places to get those things at. Okay, so now, can you see in this pot, Dave? Not kind of. really. Oh, wait. Yeah, Let's see. Can you see in it if I go like that? Oh. Yeah. Okay. So now what I'm going to do it's kind of hard, is I'm going to pour in my red. Whoa, that is gorgeous. <laughs> and this is called an in-the-pot swirl, where you mix the two colors in the pot, and then you pour it into your mold. Yes, dear? I'm not quite sure. Oops. Um, I, I, this is a little bit from before, but Rebecca asked, I've always had trouble with my TDs, white looking like lace and not smooth. What's your secret? I'm Titanium sure. dioxide. Oh, okay. Well, I just mix it up really well. Make sure that you get titanium dioxide and you mix it with the correct thing because some mix with water and some mix with oil. So if you put the wrong one, then you'll have the wrong, um, so like the titanium dioxide that mixes in oil won't mix in water so that could be part of your problem all right this is my beginner soap mold two pounds homemade soap making supplies.com if you guys want them i have a combination of silicone molds here that i'm using for this because i just have them so that's what i'm gonna do so but this is the one that's on my website if you guys want to know okay all right, so here we go. Get them all going here. And, oops, got a little soap. Uh, that did one. you add the scent? <gasps> Shell said add the oh, scent. Oh, no. Oh, I'm going to cry. Can you not add it now? Yeah. You can't add it now? <sighs> okay, that's it. I quit. You can't add it at this point? No, well I can, but it's not going to have a swirl. Oh, because you swirled it already. Well, can you, like, no. pour it in as you mix it? <coughs> Do you want me to pour scent in there while you pour the soap in there? Nope. I'm just going to go cry with my pink peppermint soap. Okay, there's my fragrance. Do yeah. you, can you not mix it and just dump it? Will it kind of blend as it goes? No, it uh -huh. won't. <laughs> Mike's trying to... Trying to be optimistic. I appreciate your optimism. Why don't you get another, make another white batch? Of okay. So now, since I forgot my fragrance, 
I am going to have to mix my lovely swirl. Can you throw some and, more white in after you swirl it? Yeah, get a bunch of white and then... I don't really have to make a whole nother batch. Whoa. Okay, so... It's all right. We will just, ha you know, we'll just think of it as those pink peppermint candies that Grandma always used to have. Sure. Anybody's grandma have the pink peppermint candies? We'll just consider it that. Okay. There. Now my fragrance is all mixed. And ready for the pink soap that was supposed to be not pink. All right. Here we go. Doop 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 doo do 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 do. There's one. Well, it certainly pours fairly easy. That's nice. The pink is very pretty. Oh man, it is actually. Wow. Oops. Oops. Sorry. <sighs> pours easily right all over the counter. So if we leave it on the counter, will it like turn into a soap pancake? It will, and it'll probably eat your counter. Oh, never you mind. So you don't really want to leave it on there. Why? Okay, here's the test to see if I measured correctly. Uh, apparently I did not. Oh yeah, this one's not full. Okay. It's close enough. Okay, apparently I did not measure correctly because I still have a little bit left. But that's okay. We can always use more soap. So. Clean up your drainage system. Now, what we're going to do is we are going to tap them. Get this one in there. Man, it does smell really Get all good. the air bubbles out. Thank you. Why that even, that smells like peppermint. <laughs> it that? smells like Tara's tears. It's still beautiful. Some of the greatest inventions were accident. Yes, solid is pretty. Well, if that's the case, I should be rich by now. <laughs> okay, so then I'm going to spray the tops with rubbing alcohol. Looks like lollies. Where did you get that? Did you say you gave me one for my hair? Then, um... Luan says make it pink and red. That will... Yeah, I could have done that. Um, that will keep soda ash from forming. Go ahead, Dave. Uh, somebody... Wait, where did you get that? Uh, was... Hobby Lobby. Uh, somebody asked a question about... Go ahead, Dave. You can come back. I didn't oh. see the question, but your mom says, yes, Drano is lie. But Drano's not just lie. No, it? not Drano. Don't uh -uh. use Drano. No, 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 no. So you need to use 100% lie drain cleaner. And I don't think Drano, the company, makes 100% lie drain cleaner. I think you have to get the off-brand. Michael put the link on there. Uh, Some people do are we saying still have add it? white sprinkles. The link to what? Yeah. What am I adding the link to? I could do that, Dave. Run, thank you, Dave. Run down and get the sprinkles uh, for me quickly. Get the snowflakes. Uh, what? Uh, Is gluten free? Right there. Um, they're down on the shelf as you walk in on the right. Um, I will put some snowflake sprinkles. That's a great idea. Thank you, whoever thought of that idea for me. So, oops. Uh, Seems like there were That's some other things. That's great, guys. Thank you, thank you. I will do that. Oh, seems like it was important. Um, so we had a couple of questions that other people asked earlier. Uh, let see if I can figure out. Oh, oh my goodness. Nancy. I forgot the muffins. Okay. Today's show is about how many mistakes can Tara make in one show. Actually, someone asked what's the worst cooking disaster you ever had. Would that be turkey jerky? Probably the turkey jerky. <laughs> okay. Well, so, now we have burned muffins. Actually, they look great. Are they burned? They're burned. How can you tell? The tops are nice and golden. Tune to Martha Stewart instead. <laughs> well, let's just say they're very browned. Hot. Okay? Uh, oh, who was I telling I was It's gonna... in a big bag, Dave. On the bottom right. A oh. uh, couple things. She's gone. Come here, BJ. Let's take over. <laughs> 
what are mom's biggest secrets that her that the viewers would know her, All right, she guys, would know so. need to know here's what you need to know she's totally it's different so in real different. life she beats us please save me oh, stop. <laughs> <laughs> um dear mrs rushy said maybe chicken and dumplings recipe part of it burns to the bottom of the pan any ideas on how to prevent this yeah just turn down the heat not as hot yeah okay okay so i have these cute 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 little snowflake oh. sprinkles which i don't have <laughs> on the site yet, but we'll stick some of those on there. Oh, that's cute. The troublemakers. <laughs> BJ, everybody says hey to you. Uh, <laughs> Christine says, sorry about the muffins. I don't think they're burned on the bottoms though, are they? No, they're just very, very dark. They're not burned. But... That's Mike's favorite. It's just charcoal, don't worry. Everybody there we go. Huh? <laughs> Thanks. Are you saying my stuff is burned and I'm you not don't admitting smell it? Burned from here. I think she needs a kiss, Mike. You know, I think it would be more appreciated in the other direction. <laughs> uh, oh, hey, somebody was asking about a. Uh, um, Nancy said, would you consider making a peppermint lavender soap for bathing in during migraine headaches? <laughs> they should sell well. Uh, I could make one. I can't, I can't promote it as for migraines, but I could make it for you if that's what you want. So the general consensus is those don't look burnt. Well, they're very well done, but yeah. Well, no, here, look. That's the bottom, the part that's the most brown. Uh, that's not, not really bad. It's not black. But if it was black, you could uh, get a little file and file <laughs> Dad. Isn't there some sort of tip in the book about that? Isn't there a tip about using something to get a little bit of it off if you burn them? Yeah. Ellie, can you deal with the dog, please? Okay. So these are going to be little samplers. So, yeah, but they'll be cute. Wait, Thank you, whoever, sex, whoever suggested it. Why don't you sell them as extra special soaps that are a premiere of the sprinkle or something? I don't know. The premiere of the a sprinkles? A preview of the sprinkles. <laughs> Alice is wondering, how did you get into soap making? Well, I went to Silver Dollar City in Branson. I'm just going to spray these once more. Oh, with this is alcohol. not a sponsored content. Which is? And... It's a 1800s amusement park, and they had soap making, and I thought it was really cool. And then I ended up getting a job where I had to make soap. I worked at a flower shop, and they just happened to make soap, too. So I would sit. This was before hand blenders. Um, and I had to sit and hand stir for an hour each batch of soap. We had a big bucket like that, and I would hand stir each one. How did your arm not fall off? It did, I don't know. Heather was wondering, are the muffins cornbread muffins or flavored muffins? They're chocolate chip. Yeah. So. All right, guys, please visit us at homemadesoapmakingsupplies.com to get my soap and my soap making supplies. Please visit us at livingonadime.com. We'll be back on Wednesday. Woohoo! Making roast chicken if they have the chickens on sale like they're suspecting. You said 59 cents? Somebody else said that. 59 cents a pound is wow. what they said. So That's yeah. impressive. All right, guys. Please like, subscribe, and share. Thank you for staying with us. And we will see you guys next time. Bye. Bye. Really, I think yeah. it all turned out fine, dear. Quit it all. Just keep on out. <laughs> <laughs> She's just like, quit. Uh. Just